The pituitary gland is located in your brain, just behind the bridge of your nose. It is about the size of a green pea, and it controls many other glands in the body. That's why we call it the master gland. It produces the following hormones. Number one, prolactin. This is important for breastfeeding. TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone. This signals your thyroid gland to make thyroid hormone, which is vital for life. FSH and LH, or follicle stimulating and luteinizing hormones, these signal the ovaries or the testes to do their jobs. ACTH, or adrenocorticotropic hormone, talks to your adrenal glands to make cortisol, another hormone which is absolutely vital for life. Growth hormone is mostly important when you are a child and still growing. Vasopressin talks to your kidneys to regulate water balance. Oxytocin is important for childbirth as well as for bonding with the new baby. Tumors of the pituitary can be pretty common. If we did a thousand random autopsies, we might find that up to 200 of those people have a tumor in the pituitary gland. But they usually don't ever do anything, so a person might never know that they have one. When I mean they don't do anything, I mean they don't make extra hormones that they're not supposed to be making. When someone finds out they have a tumor, we have to figure out which type it is, a secreting tumor or a non-secreting tumor. A secreting tumor makes extra hormones that it's not supposed to, and this causes many different kinds of symptoms depending on which hormone it's making. Some of them can even make multiple hormones at the same time. Even a very tiny tumor can make huge amounts of hormone. Some examples of these kinds of tumors are Cushing's disease, in which the tumor makes too much of that ACTH, and this signals the adrenal glands to be overactive, making too much cortisol. This causes weight gain, high blood pressure, diabetes, brittle bones, erectile dysfunction, excess hair growth, and other things. A prolactinoma is a tumor that makes extra prolactin. This can cause a milky nipple discharge in men or women, erectile dysfunction, irregular periods, and in the long term will have negative effects on bone metabolism. Acromegaly is a tumor that makes growth hormone that causes enlargement of the hands, the feet, the skull, it causes high blood pressure, heart problems, diabetes. It's different from gigantism in that acromegaly occurs in the adult. Gigantism occurs in people whose growth plates are not yet closed, but the principle of how it works is the same. There are other tumors that make too much TSH, LH, FSH, and they're very rare. A non-secreting tumor is a tumor that makes no hormone at all, but sometimes they get so big, they squish the cells in the pituitary gland that are supposed to be making hormones, and so you don't make enough. They can also get big enough to cause headaches or cause tunnel vision because tumor will push on the optic nerves. How do we treat tumors of the pituitary? If the tumor is making hormones, and or it's big enough to affect vision, it's going to be removed surgically. There's one exception to this in that the prolactinomas are treated with medication called cabergoline or bromocryptine because the outcomes from this medication is actually better than surgery in almost every case. Some tumors aren't making hormones and are still small enough that they don't affect the optic nerves. In these cases, we watch the tumor and intervene if or when it grows big enough to cause trouble. What is panhypopituitarism? 
This is a condition where either the tumor is so big it squished the entire pituitary gland, or the surgery to remove the tumor was unable to preserve the pituitary itself. It means that you don't make any of the hormones that the pituitary normally will make. So in those cases, we will give them as medication. Levothyroxine takes the place of thyroid hormone because that is necessary for life. Hydrocortisone will cover the cortisol that can no longer be made, which is necessary for life. Testosterone would be given to men, either as a topical gel or an injection. Estradiol and progesterone may be administered to women as an oral contraceptive or as a patch or as a pill. Desmopressin can be given anywhere from one to three times a day to regulate water balance in the body. There is no replacement medication for prolactin. There is a replacement for oxytocin called pitocin, but this is used during labor and delivery only. Growth hormone is available for people who have not finished their growth cycle. People with panhypopituitarism need to have a medical bracelet to notify a first responder of this condition. You can get these online or at your pharmacy. It's important so that if you are found unconscious, like after a car wreck, that they will know to give you stress dose hydrocortisone as well as thyroid hormone to keep you alive. When you have questions, the Mayo Clinic has a section on pituitary tumors, and the American Cancer Society also has a section on their website about what is a pituitary tumor, and these are both reliable and up-to-date, easy-to-read resources.